Hello everybody and welcome to Work Against the Grain. My name is Jeff. I want to show you a really cool uh, tool that a gentleman by the name of Mick Martin, who is a Cam Master uh, supporter such as myself, um, came up with, designed this program. I'll put a link down at the bottom to his YouTube channel and contact info. Uh, this isn't associated with Cam Master WinCNC. Um, it is a program that Mick developed. There are no representations made that this will work on anybody's machine. It's nobody's fault if this program doesn't work on your machine. And all of the disclaimers that could possibly go wrong, it is a tool. It worked brilliantly for me, as you will see in the upcoming video. Um, I just, I wanted to share it with you. I don't know if he's charging for it, not charging for it. Again, it's up to Mick and his channel, uh, link to his channel will be in the notes and you can contact him for all that kind of stuff. But I wanted to show you how it works and I use my CNC to plane uh, boards. As you see here, this is a, a piece of myrtle wood that I wanted to plane. Um, get both two sides parallel and yes, I have a planer. Yes, I have a jointer, but I like using my CNC machine. So I like planing them on the CNC and to use a spire, you can sure do it, right? You, you could set up a pocketing tool path and plane your wood, but what Mick has developed here is really, really cool. So let's hop in and take a look. So it really is intended as a wizard to mill your spoil board, but you can really use this to uh, surface plane just about anything. So I'm going to show you the wizard as I planed a piece of myrtle wood that was about seven and a half inches wide by 43 inches long. So I came in here and I selected the Cobra series machine. I've got a seven and a half inch wide piece of material. It's 43 inches long. I've got a two inch diameter cutter. I want my depth of cut to be almost a 32nd of an inch. I'm gonna feed my machine at 300 inches per minute. Z at 30 is good. My step over at 40% is good. And this particular bit by the manufacturer's recommendations I'm going to run it at 12,000 RPMs. Then it's asking if I have router spindle support automatically turns on and off. I do. You may not. Um, and then my start position, is it my machine zero or is it a local zero? In this case, I'm going to use a local zero and I'll show you when I do the machine setup what I mean. And then I go generate G code. It asks you to save it. I'm going to put on here plain the myrtle. P-L-A-N-E, Myrtle, Wood, and Save. And that's it. That quickly, I just created this G-code file that I can now put into my Cam Master machine and plane the wood. So let's do that. Let me show you machine setup and let me show you what this file did. And then we'll come back and we'll talk about what all of these different things mean and what this wizard did to create this file, okay? So have a look at the machining and then we'll come back and talk about the G-code. Okay, so as I said, this is the piece of myrtle wood that I, uh, I'm looking to plane. And so I put it onto the spoil board of my CNC machine by utilizing double stick tape. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set my machine up. Now one of the things that it, that it alerts you to is that the, your bit, whether it be your spoil board that you're machining or planing in this particular case, your bit must be touching the top of the material. Now, yes, there's a little bit of a gap between the bottom of my board and the, um, the spoil board of my CNC machine. But all I'm trying to do 
is playing one side of this flat so that I can then turn it over, use my vacuum table, and then mill the other side parallel to this side so that I end up with two parallel sides. So here I am, no special lasers or anything like that. I'm merely uh, putting my cutter uh, prior to starting the file. I'm placing my cutter so that it's touching the top of the material I'm going to mill. And I'm putting the center of the cutter at X, Y, zero for the material, not the machine zero, but the material zero. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to load the G code into the, my WinCNC. You may be using mock, but what will happen then is, is that the, the cutter will raise up. And as you see here, it goes to one end of the material and it absolutely planed the wood perfectly. I mean, it just, uh, it was great. It took off a 32nd of an inch and then uh, I flipped it over, did the same thing on the other side and I had a, uh, a perfectly plain piece of myrtle wood. Just, uh, just worked absolutely brilliantly. So. I wanted to show it to everybody. Uh, you saw how I generated the G-code. I'll let you watch the milling procedure here, and then uh, I'll come back and we'll talk about the G-code and what Mick has created. And so that was the first pass that I made on planing this particular piece of myrtle wood. I actually ran the file again. It's easier to run the file a second time because all you do is hit Z0. It automatically goes down and touches on the top. You run the file again. And let's talk about what the, as we put the G code up on the screen here, Let's talk about what we're seeing. There's the basic parameters at the top, and then there's a note there that you absolutely have to be touching the spoil board or whatever it is you're milling. The tool must be touching the very top of it. And then you'll see a code there, M37Z0.03. And that's telling your machine, giving it the command that, hey, machine right now you're at Z.03 and then it gives a G53Z which brings the machine all the way back up the Z to its up or home position tells us we want to feed it at 30 inches per minute X and Y at 300 it's going to set our router speed at 12,000 RPM the M3 code turns the spindle on, and then you have a G0, which is a, a, a rapid move to X0, Y43, which was the length of our material. It rapids to Z1 inch, and then it feeds at 30 inches per minute to Z0. Well, if it gave it the command that it was set at Z0.03 when you did the M37, now when it feeds to Z0, you're essentially taking a 32nd of an inch or 30 thousandths uh, of an inch cut. 
And then the rest of it tells it to go around the material um, and then uh, go back and forth, up and down, back and forth, up and down. And so I actually, when it was all done, I ran the file a second time because all I had to do now was feed it to Z0 so that my bit was now touching the new zero or the top of the material. So then when I ran the, the G code again and that M37, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Z.030 was there, it once again told the machine, hey, you're 30 thousandths above zero. And then two or three lines down, it says feed to zero again. And you're essentially taking that 30 sec thousandths uh, cut again. I ran it, came out absolutely beautiful. And so then I said, well, hey, if I can do it with one, I can certainly do it with four or five. So I'm going to leave you now with it machining. I threw three or four pieces of myrtle on here, ran the same thing. And like I say, in, in real time, setting up or creating the G code and then ultimately running the file, you're from uh, creating G code to machine running in less than two minutes. I mean, it's that fast. So Mick, you're a genius. Thank you for this. Again, I will put his information in the description of this video not affiliated with Cam Master or WinCNC. I want to give full credit to Mick Martin. I just wanted to show it in action. Any questions, ask me. I'll be happy to answer what I can. And certainly visit Mick's channel and ask him. But for those that use their CNC to plane or for those that have a spoil board that they machine on a regular basis, this is a program that just absolutely saves so much time. It's so exact, so perfect. So once again, Mick, thank you. For the subscribers, I'm going to leave you with the uh, machining of all of the other boards that I threw on here just so you could see it work once again. Just a brilliant program. Once again, thank everybody for watching. And this is Work Against the Grain. My name is Jeff.